All right, so when you see a square root that you're gonna to try to um, estimate, right, there's a few things we need to make sure we remember. Right? So if we're gonna to try to estimate the square root of three, right? first of all, we wanna to think to ourselves, so we are asking, we're imagining a square right, that has an area of three units. So the area is three units. Right? And so we are trying to figure out what number times itself would give us an area of three units. So hopefully, I think you guys are starting to get the idea, right, that if it was a two by two, this would be four, right? So the square root of four is two. If we had something, right, that was a, right, had an area of one, each side would be one by one. That's how a square works. So we need a three and, right, so a three, something with the area of three is be, going to be between these two values. So the, the first step, the main step that we really need to think about is what are some perfect square roots? So we know that the perfect square root of one is one and the perfect square root of four is two. And that is where we need to start. We need to think to ourselves, the square root of three is between what two perfect roots? And so then we can see that it is between one, the square root of one and the square root of four, which means it's between one and two, right? So the square root of four is two, the square root of three is gonna be a little bit less. So if we think to ourselves, right, we're also the other non-perfect square root that would fit in here is the square root of two. So the square root of three is in here somewhere and the square root of two. And the, just like regular numbers, they're evenly spaced. So right, right here on a number line, right in between one and two would be 1.5. So you can see the square root of three is not right in the middle. It's gonna be a little bit more than 1.5. So we need to figure out kind of what numbers we should test. And so, right, I'm gonna think that this is around 1.7. And so when you test that, right, just like we took two, right, this, to get that, we said two squared, right, or, which is the same thing as two times two. To find this is, like, it is one squared, which is one times one. So to test for the square root of three, right, if this is what we're going to test, we need to think 1.7 squared, which is the same as 1.7 times 1.7. So when we take 1.7 times 1.7, this is going to be 49, carry the 4, 7, that's 11, placeholder, and 1 times 7 is 7 and 1. And then we're going to add that up. And 9, and that is... eight and two, and there's two decimal places, right? So that means 1.7 squared, right? Or 1.7 times 1.7 is 2.89. So we could actually put that on the number line. That the square root of 2.89 is 1.7. Well, three, right? Three is more than that. So three is actually gonna be a little bit over here, a little bit more. And so we would need to test another number just to make sure, but that's pretty close. But we could then test 1.8 and find out what that comes out to, right? So then we would test 1.8, right? 1.8 squared, which is 1.8 times 1.8 to find out what that is going to equal. So 1.8 times 1.8, 64, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14, and then that's 18, and then we're going to add that, that's 12, carry the 1, 3, and then there's two decimals, 3.24, right? So then, right, now we can say that 8, 1.8 squared is 3.24, so that goes right here, the square root of 3.24. And hopefully now you can tell that the square root of three is between these two values. That's where the square root of three, and if we want, if it 